The world's oceans occupy two-thirds of the Earth's surface, making it the largest habitat on the planet. It's only natural that a variety of sea creatures call it home. However, most of these creatures are shy and docile, perfectly content with living their lives under the sea. But some of them can be pretty dangerous, especially to humans. And on that note, we're going to be looking at the most dangerous creatures in the ocean. Let's begin, shall we? Sea snakes. Sea snakes include about 30 to 50 different species, which are most likely to be met in the tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. These creatures are part of the cobra family and are 2 meters long on average. Sea snakes aren't very aggressive animals. They would actually rather keep to themselves, but due to their highly toxic venom, they slithered their way on our list. It only takes a fraction of a drop of their venom to kill a fully grown man. Even though sea snakes are likely to hide from humans, it's always safer if you don't get too close to these animals. Because in the unlikely event that a sea snake would want to bite you, it can do so easily, even through your wetsuit. If you happen to get bit by a sea snake, your chances of survival are next to none. The Cone Snail When thinking about one of the most dangerous sea creatures on the Earth, snails are quite unlikely to come to mind, aren't they? And that's why number 8 on our list might come to you as a surprise. It's a lowly cone snail. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and look quite innocent, but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. If you are an enthusiastic shell collector, we recommend you handle these fellows with care. Cone snails, for reasons that are quite obvious, aren't active and aggressive hunters of prey, but rather harpoon their prey with hollow teeth and inject lethal venom through them. Cone snails can be found in the deep reef waters all the way from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas, and also along the coast of Florida. However, the ones residing in the Indo-Pacific region tend to have more harmful toxin than others. I would heavily suggest you not try your luck anywhere with these creatures. They actually do have a bit of a nickname as well. That nickname is Cigarette Snail, which comes from the fact that after a sting you'll have just enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. Stingrays did you know what kind of predator was responsible for the death of the world-famous crocodile hunter Steve Irwin on the coast of Australia in 2006? The cold-blooded killer was an Australian bull ray, one of the largest species of stingray, which made seventh on our list. Although your chances of being attacked by a stingray while diving are next to nothing, what happened to Irwin can be considered a fluke accident. It's still better to give these creatures space, as like most other creatures, they won't appreciate someone enroaching in their territory. Stingrays don't actually hunt for divers and swimmers. You will be stung by a stingray only if you step on it, and it will defend itself accordingly by using its sting, which is quite likely since stingrays prefer to lie half buried at the bottom of the ocean. So when diving in stingray country, watch your steps since the venom of these creatures is extraordinarily painful, and some stingray species can be fatal to humans. On that note, rest in peace, crocodile hunter. You are still not forgotten, and you are still loved to this very day. The Great Barracuda How many of you have the horror stories about almost two meters long sharp teeth barracudas that leap out of the water and seriously injure some unsuspecting people in a boat? There is no such thing as flying killer fish, but number six on our list, the Great Barracuda, is known to have attacked humans. It's also very well known for eating Nemo's mother in Finding Nemo, so we all know just how evil this thing is in the first place. Alright, alright, it's not that great barracudas go out of their way to bite a chunk out of divers. Barracuda attacks are extremely rare, and only happens when it tries to steal prey from a spear. The appearance of these predators is more than likely to make you at least a little cautious, though, because they are quite terrifying to look at. The great barracudas have a body shaped like a torpedo and two rows of razor-sharp teeth. And if you need one more reason to why you should not try to make contact with these creatures, much less eat them, here's a little fun fact for you all. The great barracuda's flesh sometimes contains toxin, which can cause serious symptoms from vomiting to leg weakness, and those symptoms can last more than three months. Yeah, you don't want to eat this thing. The stonefish. The next predator on our list has a camouflage so effective you wouldn't be able to see it even if it was two inches away from your nose. And that only adds to its deadliness. Why does it only add to it? Well, it's because it already has one of the most toxic, naturally occurring poisons in nature. Introducing the fourth most dangerous ocean creature on our list, the stonefish. The proud owner of the title of the most venomous fish in the world. 
Sure, these creatures might not be the biggest fish in the ocean, only growing to an average of, you know, 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are a living proof of the fact that you don't have to be great in order to be a threat. You just gotta kill your prey with poison. The venom of a stonefish can cause excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and even heart failure. A very lethal combination, especially if you are diving miles away from the nearest help. Fortunately, there is an anti-venom developed for the stonefish's toxin, but it won't do you any good, especially if you're out diving alone with no one to help you. The reassuring fact for divers is that stonefishes won't actually attack you. These creatures use their venom only as a defensive mechanism and kill their prey with quick attacks instead. But that doesn't mean that people haven't succumbed to the stonefish's deadly cocktail. The Blue Ringed Octopus Do you know what kind of creature weighs only around 30 grams but contain enough poison to kill over 20 humans? No, it's not the sea snake again. Third on our list is tiny but extraordinarily deadly, the Blue Ringed Octopus. This cute little guy has paralyzing venom, which is 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide. Clearly a type of creature you don't want to mess with or pet. The good thing is these creatures are quite shy and wouldn't want to mess around with you as well. They avoid any confrontation with humans and eject their venom only when provoked or stepped on. Unfortunately, there is no effective antidote to the venom, and the only treatment is to treat the symptoms until the venom dissipates. And, uh, mind you, that takes about 24 hours. That's enough at least for us not to go after these fellows. Ooh. Giant Monkfish The monkfish is a strange and somewhat terrifying looking fish, but is in fact perfectly suited for its life as a deep water predator. Monkfish have a number of adaptations which make them adept at catching their prey. The protuberance which comes from their head, known as the esca, can be moved in any direction, and is used to attract small fish which think it's something to eat. Once they're in range, the monkfish snaps forward with an incredible speed to devour the fish in its massive mouth. The teeth of the monkfish are hinged, which allows the prey fish to be held securely in the monkfish's jaws. The monkfish also has an expandable stomach, which means they can eat fish which are almost as large as itself. Although highly unlikely, it might even decide to take a bite off of a diver's hand. Monkfish will take anything. Sand eels, cod, pollock, coalfish, dogfish, all kinds of flatfishes, and even rays. They've also been caught with lobsters and crabs in their stomach as well, suggesting that monkfish are opportunistic predators that'll eat pretty much anything that crosses their path. And I see the box jellyfish. The most dangerous sea creature on our list might not have rows of razor sharp teeth. It doesn't have any visible mouth at all even. But it has caused more human deaths in Australia than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. These creatures are transparent and pale blue in color, which makes them almost invisible in the water. It actually took quite a long time before anybody even realized what was causing unsuspecting swimmers and divers such agonizing pain. One box jellyfish contains enough venom to kill up to 60 people, and what makes them even more dangerous is the speed at which their venom acts inside a human body. The sting of a box jellyfish can kill you in less than, count it, five minutes. Unlike other jellyfish floating with the currents, these fellows can swim, making a run-in with divers more likely. Of the traits that set them apart from other jellyfish is their ability to see. They have clusters of eyes on each side of their box-shaped body. These abilities support the belief that instead of waiting for food to bump into their tentacles, box jellyfish might hunt for prey. Fortunately for divers, their menu mainly consists of shrimp and, well, not humans. Which ocean animal terrified you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Want to watch more videos on dangerous animals while in the safety of your own home? Well, click on any of the videos you see on the screen below. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.